G'day, this is just a small brass adapter, M5 male and an M10 female, so it's drilled and tapped and then screw cut. Let's get on with it. That's a chamfer, the parting tool's putting on, and then facing it off. Actually there it didn't face it off all the way to the centre, it's just faced off to 8mm so the drill removes the uh, facing so I didn't see any point in wasting time with it. Here's the tap, 800 RPM. Here's the feet of 0.9 so the floating tap head could do its work. And the reason that's so far out from the chuck for parting off is because the tap was getting very close to the chuck and we didn't want that to happen. You can see the facing to eight, eight diameter. This is an earlier one where I was facing off to the middle. Realised it was pointless because the drill was going to clean it up anyway. There's the tap again. You can see how the tapping head springs back there. So that's by using the slower feed rate and allowing the tap to be drawn in itself. Second operation, different lathe. That screw is in a arbor but it was too small, the head was falling into the hole partially. So I turned up another piece of brass to make a proper stop for it. And you can see there the arbor in the spindle. Aluminium insert, they love brass. Look at that. Didn't take long to get that down to five mil. The only 0.8 full form insert I could find was a Sandvik one that I've had for years. I don't use Sandvik tools anymore. Sandvik threading inserts only fit Sandvik tools. So I changed over to Sumitomo and their inserts um, are ISO inserts. So anybody's inserts will fit their tools. And that thread was cut at 3000 RPM. I've had this lathe for something like 12, 13 years now and it never ceases to impress me. Mind you, it's a heck of a lot better since I upgraded the spindle driver. Before I did that I could only get 2300 RPM out of it, but now 3000 RPM, easy. So I'm starting the tool a fair way away from the thread cut. So there's plenty of time for the carriage to get up to the speed that's required to match the spindle speed. That's a thread under a microscope. You can see it looks quite, quite decent. That's the inside thread. You can see the thread going virtually all the way to the bottom of the hole. And that's a nut just on the thread. Thank you for watching.